well as you can see the man cave is uh, back up and running ready to be fired up uh, to do whatever leads baits coatings yeah whatever it is you do in your man cave in this man cave that's me lead making setup okay uh, but a little bit of a difference where it's like plane pisses off yeah is of course the man cave is back up and running so that means you can start making lead videos again again it's been uh, it's been uh, down and out over the last few months because I've just moved into a new house and of course yeah man cave had to come with me so up sticks with one man cave and down in another and this is where it is now so it's all ready to be fired up but we're not going to make leads tonight uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make uh, a weekend I'm going to have a weekend of leads yeah so weekend we mean what is it today it is Monday the 4th of December okay so we're looking at is it the 9th and 10th 4th 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so 9th and 10th of December so what we're going to do is I'll put this little video up tonight uh, because uh, I've done a bit of lead making over the years uh, when did I start making leads Back in the 1970s with me dad making sea leads in the garage in the in the uh, in the 70s man cave yeah no ppe no personal protection no face masks no nothing just a pair of gloves and a donkey jacket that was about 10 sizes too big yeah and that was my personal protective equipment but again yeah uh we're back up in uh, this day and age um I'm going to make some leads, uh, I'm going to coat some leads at weekend, making some back orders basically because of course a few pals have uh, been waiting for the leads for quite some time now. Yeah, I know I haven't forgotten about yous, it's just I've not been able to uh, make any due to not having a man cave and living in a fucking caravan as you probably saw in a few of the videos previous. Okay, so what we're going to do, if you want to know anything specific about leads, because uh, I've done a few leads over the years, I used to live in Sweden, uh, I used to make for all the top carp anglers over there, all their leads, I used to make for CC more while I was in Sweden, so yeah, my leads aren't a load of Barry White, okay, they're handcrafted, yeah, one by one, yeah, and they're not mass produced, yeah, and turn out a load of bollocks with burnt swivels and brass this and bits hanging off here and sticky plastic and all sorts, yeah. If I don't use them, they don't get flogged. It's as simple as that. So, in the comments section below, if you want to see something this weekend, let me know. And again, I will cover it on uh, during the weekend, give you an in-depth guide into whatever you want to know. Because I do know a little bit about leads. I've been doing it for a fair old few years now. I haven't just jumped on the bandwagon. Molds have been sold on eBay. Making them in mass produced and flogging them for silly money. Okay. Uh, so what we could do is if you want to know about molds if you want to know about powders if you want to know about coatings you want to know about uh, your homemade coatings making um, your molds you can make some I can show you that on the weekend uh, where to get stuff how much you want to be paying for it because I've been doing it for a fair old uh, few years now so I've got a bit of info uh, should you need it so we could look at for example Oh, fucking hell, this is heavy. Oh, that's my box of moulds. That is full. That is full of moulds, as you can see there. There's inlines, there's swivels, uh, there's all sorts. I've got bloody... I've got sea moulds, I've got jig heads, I've got shad head moulds, obviously carp lead moulds, bat lead moulds, inline swivels, uh, you name it. We can go through them at the weekend as well. Yeah. Uh, if you want to know anything about moulds, I've got most of them, that's a brand new one actually, that I've just got an inline gripper mould, yeah, in, what the hell's that? I don't even know, I've not used it yet, I've got to look at them and see what size they are, but again, all the moulds there, uh, and I've got, uh, of course, a shed load of coatings. So we can have a look at some coatings now and again if you want to know anything about coatings how to apply them how to make your own coating uh we could do that at the weekend as well but i have to go off site i.e out of the man cove man cave to collect coating yeah and of course it's free of charge yeah and i'll probably look a pretty noddy walking down the street with a video camera filming me what i'm going to be doing i look like a right fucking pikey tell you yeah but hey ho anything for a good lead video eh lads right Let's have a look at some coating, shall we? 
So I've got coatings, I've got shitloads of coatings. Some I've made myself, obviously a lot of shop bought, but some have been round shops and seen, ooh, that'll be cracking for a coating of a lead. And that is me one secret I don't give away. As you've probably seen my videos, some leads I make, uh, like that uh, marker lead system I made, yeah, I noticed a few months later, yeah, people were making them, obviously seen my videos, putting them on eBay, and they were a load of turd, yeah. It looked like a bomb's gone off in a bucket, and that's what came out as shrapnel, okay. Right, so there is my uh, my little coating cupboard, basically, which keeps all my coatings in there. And that's it. I've got my sands up at the top. I've got my plastic powders and gravels down here. I've got gravels here. I've got lead loops, clips, more gravels, coatings there. Again, all different colours, your plastics. And, of course, I've got my, what I don't use very often, is, as you can see at the top, some ones there of a uh, pink, uh, red, yellow, yeah, and a couple of greens there as well. But they're for making, like, of course, your, uh, you see, yeah, well, your pike, kind of lead heads, shad heads, and uh, perks, actually, for cod fishing. I've made a few of them, stuck a few treble ups on there. Uh, but again, that don't come out very often. Uh, so, anything you want to know about coatings, lads, mixing them, yeah. What's the ratios I mix to get the special colours? How you coat them all the different types? Yeah, your rough, your smooths, uh, your gravels, your sands, and that just fired away. And again, yeah, what I'll do, I'll collate all the uh, comments that you get down there, apart from the trolls and all the idiots. I'll just delete them, bastards. Uh, and then, of course, I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll cover it in this week's uh, weekend's video. So Saturday, Sunday, and hopefully, big Cap camel Carl will come down as well. Uh, but he's having a bit of a nightmare at work at the moment. Uh, so whether he comes down or not, I don't know, we'll have to see. So, coatings, leads, moulds, what to use, when to use them, all the different moulds, we'll cover that, whatever you want lads, okay? Because I've got a bit of info, I've got a bit of experience, so the chances are, whatever you ask, I'll probably have an answer for you, if you don't, I'll find out, I'll find out for you, simple as that. Right, so I'm going to have my tea now, so get scribbling away, troops, yeah, whatever you want to know at the weekend, and we'll come in, and uh, we'll go through it in a bit more detail. Happy days, double thumbs up, Bob's your teapot, back of the onion bag. See you later.